Hey guys, this is Dustin from MyFreedomSmokes.com. Just doing a quick video today about a new starter kit that came to the market called the ECAP by Joytech. Uh, let's go ahead and bust this thing open and we'll take a look at it here. Alright, so you can see it comes with a, a user manual. Um, and this is kind of what it looks like. Um, you know, if you're familiar with the different uh, electronic cigarette models, um, this is kind of in between the 510 and the Ego uh, in terms of size. It's a, it looks very similar to the 510, but it's just slightly bigger. Um, it uh, uses the uh, the tank system that's, that's prevalent now um, with uh, a lot of the Joytech products. Uh, and it also has some, some cool new features that we'll kind of go over. But, but that's the actual electronic cigarette uh, itself. And you'll notice there's only one in here, um, but that doesn't mean that, that you only have one cigarette, whereas the other starter kits you have two. Uh, I'll kind of you know go through the rest of the parts, and it'll make a lot more sense once we do that. So, um, But that's the cigarette itself, so we'll set that back here for now, and then we'll crack open the rest of the box here. And we'll take a look. Alright, so first thing, we have a couple of cartridges over here on the side. We'll just set those to the side right now. Um, and this is something neat, uh, something I've never seen Joytech do before. They actually included soft gaskets, uh, which are just like a, a softer silicone gasket to put on the end of the cartridges. These tend to provide a little bit better seal around the, the spike on the, on the atomizer. Uh, for the tank uh, tank style systems, so um, I've never seen Joytech do that before. But they they come uh, with these starter kits. Uh, there's two of them in here. Um, you have uh, a couple of atomizers. Uh, these are, are what we call atomizer heads. These are actually the same atomizer heads that are in the Ego C uh, model of electronic cigarettes. So they're they're very prevalent they're already out on the market um, easy to find uh, fairly cheap uh, in, in terms of um, or in relation to, to other atomizers out there it's a lot cheaper to just replace this little atomizer head than it is to, to replace an entire atomizer assembly now as for the batteries you know like I said you know most starter kits you you get two batteries two atomizers that type of thing same thing here you have two atomizer heads you also have two batteries Oh, just dumped them out. Um, two, two batteries. So they're they're ten four forty batteries uh, made by Joytech. Um, these are the same batteries that they use in their five ten pass throughs. Uh, so it's it's uh, once again it's a product that's already out there on the market, readily available. You know, fairly cheap. Um, you know, rather than paying you know fifteen dollars for a battery, you know, you can get these these guys uh, a lot cheaper. So. Uh, you'll see these out there. So this will be um, w with them setting up the car, designing the you know this this model this way. This is going to be really cheap to to use and maintain over the long run. So this is going to be a lot cheaper than uh, than like the 510 or, or the the Ego uh, models uh, that are out there on the market. Just because all of the parts are are a lot cheaper. Uh, or, or the parts that you have to replace on a regular basis are a lot cheaper uh, and, and already out there on the market. So let's set these batteries down here and let's take a look at the charger equipment here. All right, so we have uh, this is kind of a neat little charger. You know, you can kind of see how this works. Um, you just basically stick the batteries down in here and you can charge both batteries at, at one time. Uh, which is, is pretty awesome. It's something that, that you aren't able to do with a 510 or an Ego kit. Um, you know, with, with those kits, you have to unscrew the battery from the atomizer and then screw the battery onto a, a little wire charger um, so you can charge it up. So you can't use it, you know, while it's charging. But you know, this one you can charge both battery both batteries at once, or you can just charge one at a time and use one while you're while you're charging the other. Um, you see the little USB cable is kind of built right here in the back. So this is a neat little design uh, for, for a charger here. Uh, then we also have the uh, AC adapter here, which is just your standard Joytech AC adapter. It's just an AC plug uh, with a USB port on the other side. Uh, so you can just take this little charger and pull out that USB plug and then plug it directly in here so you can charge it up uh, using a, an AC plug on your wall at home. So let's stick this back in. All right, so let's go ahead and, and start putting the uh, uh, the cigarette together here. We'll just take one of the batteries. Now this is the stainless steel version. This also comes in black. All right, so to, to put the battery in, there's a, a little cap here on the end. You just pull that out and stick the battery in. And you can see it's got little, uh, little 
holes right there and, and these little um, uh, dots on the side, those match up with those holes so that locks it in place so it doesn't slide around. And you see it blinked whenever I put that battery in, that means that it is in and it's ready to, uh, ready to roll. Um, but we have to put the atomizer in first and fill up the cartridge and I'll show you how to do that real quick. Uh, if you just unscrew this little cone here, you'll see there's not uh, not a base like you would see on the Ego C, uh, which kind of uses these same you know these same atomizers. Instead, they they just built the base right in. Uh, you actually these these little atomizer heads um, and pull one out here, and I'll show you kind of where it fits. It actually just sits right on top here. So that's pretty neat how they how they design that, um, and then you just screw this. Actually, just take the cartridge out here, uh, screw this right down on top. Well, oh, actually, before let me screw that on. Let me kind of show you what this looks like. You know, this is just a straight through design. You know, so you have this little uh, um, little spike here in the center with a with a wick in the middle of it. Uh, and that's where the, the e-liquid will actually wick down to the coil, which is in that little atomizer head. And then once you screw this on, if you take a look down inside of it, you can see where that spike, um, it actually just sticks uh, straight up right in the middle there. And, and that'll actually puncture the cartridge and, and wick that e-liquid down to the coils for you. All right, so let's go ahead and, and take one of these cartridges here. Now this is the cartridge that was in it. Uh, what I'll do is I'll just pop this little cap off if I can. Alright, so I got the cap off here. And then we'll fill it up with some e-liquid. Very simple. Just drip it straight in the end here. Now these will hold a little over one milliliter of liquid. If you fill them all the way up, I'm not going to fill this one all the way up. I'll get it up here. Oh, it's almost full. So you just fill up the cartridge there, and you'll see this this cartridge kind of sh is shaped a little funny. You can see it better on a different background. It's got this whole ledge right here, um, which is where the air will actually flow around the liquid whenever you're you're inhaling. Uh, it'll flow back around the cartridge and through there. Uh, to the mouthpiece for you to inhale. So you can see it's kind of a funny shape. Uh, it's a little different shape than the, the Ego T or Ego C atomizer. So these these end caps are, are going to be you know funny shaped as well. Uh, so you have to put that back on there the right way. Let me just snap it back down. There we go. Alright, so now it's on there and it's sealed. It's good to go. Alright, so now we want to insert this cartridge down into the e -cig. and whenever I push it down in there, I always rotate it just a little bit. Um, it doesn't really matter for this model because those those holes are already pre-drilled out. So, um, but there it is. It's all put together and it's ready to ready to use. So, um, something really important though, you always need to prime the atomizer before you start using it. So, so rather than you know, I know how how it is when you get a brand new starter kit, you want to you know put it together and start vaping on it right away. It's really important that you prime the atomizer because if you don't, um, it's very easy to burn up the atomizer and then all of a sudden you've got a kit that you can't use. Uh, so, so prime the atomizer. To do that, all you want to do is just take and, and just puff and blow through the cartridge while it's, while it's in the atomizer just to get that e-liquid you know, started running down in there. Um, get rid of any air bubbles that are in there and just make sure that you have a, a good flow of the e-liquid. So let me do that real quick. And you'll see um, now, I mean you see the liquid's going down a little bit and you could hear it start to gurgle a little bit. That tells me that I've got the juice down in there, I've got a good flow. That gurgle is exactly what you want to hear. Um, so. All right, let's go ahead and give it a shot and, and see how it works. Yeah, works pretty good. I know you guys can't see that because I'm, I'm behind the camera here, but um, yeah, I mean, it works it works great. I mean, it, to me, it, it works just as good as any, uh, any Ego battery that I've used, so. Um, it's only rated at, at 340 ma, so it's, it's not quite as big as an Ego battery. 
Um, and actually, it looks like I puff and blowed on it a little too much, and I uh, puffed the, uh, the liquid right out of it. So let me wipe that off real quick. Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, even that first hit, usually the first hit, you don't get much flavor. Even that first hit, I got tons of flavor. I uh, got a little vapor coming out, and, and as you continue to use it, you know, that, that'll only get better. Um, but it's very simple to use. You just simply press that button uh, and then draw on it uh, and then let go whenever you're done. So, um, but that's it. That's the ECAM. That's the newest model from Joytech. You know, Joytech is the industry standard whenever it comes to uh, e-cigs. Um, you know, they're known for their, their high quality, their reliability, their durability. I mean, they, they are, you know, in my opinion, the, the best manufacturer out there for, for electronic cigarettes. So, uh, and this is their newest model, and I, I must say it's, it's definitely a winner in my book. Thanks, guys.